Hello, girls and boys, it's our time. And today I'm gonna to show you um, making hand print flowers. I've got this as a present as a teacher and I still have them. Some of this one is like 10 years old. And as you can see in this one, they used one hand print, a pipe cleaner a sh and a straw. And then they used uh, green tape and put the petals in. So this is a way you can make some flowers for your mom that will never die. So they're great. And then this one, wait a minute, this one. This one is made with two hands. So you pick two different colors, same thing, and you um, just glue it together. So there's different ways you can make it. Oh, I did forget to get a pipe cleaner out. Let me, get, they're right here. Pull it on one second, there we go. So, for these you pick two colors. I picked red and pink. Everyone knows in my classroom that red's my favorite color. And you might need help with this. Your mom might need to help trace your hand. Usually you can do this hand but then when you have to trace this hand and use your left hand to write, it gets really hard. So that's probably where you're gonna need some help from your mom or your dad, because it gets hard. Look, I just did a messy job right there myself on my pinky. I think I'm gonna have to redo my pinky. I moved. You gotta stay still when you do this. See, but if you do it in pencil and you make a mistake, you can just erase it and a voila, like it never happened. So that's what's great about doing it in pencil. Then we cut out the flowers. That's your hand. And the kids should be able to do this on their own with kids' scissors, no problem. Um, some of them have a hard time understanding that this hand controls the paper, that they can turn the paper with it. That's all they usually need um, direction with. Most of them have the up and down and putting their thumb on top and their two fingers on the bottom. And the reason we put our thumb up top is so we can see where we're cutting. A lot of kids try to cut like this. You can't see where you're cutting when you go that way. So make sure your kid has his thumb up, two fingers this way, and that this hand controls the paper. And there's one and same thing with the leaf you want the leaves to actually be connected on this one you want to like a like an inch little line like that and then you draw your leaves I like to draw it like this makes it to me more even then you cut that out Now, depending on what you're using, if you're using a straw, you would have to hole punch it. Um, but I'm using a kebab stick, so I'm just gonna post a hole right through it, through the paper like that. But if you were using a straw, then you would probably need, um, oh, I see, I should have made my thing a little bit wider. So really make sure that's wide enough before you start, or your leaf will break like mine. There we go, let's try that again. All right. But see, everyone makes mistakes and we learn from our mistakes, so mistakes are not bad. Mistakes give you an opportunity to learn something new. I always want my kids to remember that. So let's try again. We'll put a hole through it. And like I said, if you were using um, 
the straw, you probably have to make it even bigger. Oh, I did it again. Well, I'm not gonna keep doing that while you guys are watching. I'll figure that out a little bit later. Um, I'm just gonna tape it right now. All right, there we go. Then you wrap the, um, then you can take your pipe cleaner. Probably don't need this much. I'm gonna cut this in half. And like I said, if you don't have pipe cleaners, just use two hands, like in this one. And the second hand can be the inside. But if you do have pipe cleaners, you can make this one with one. So you take this, you bend it in half, you use your finger to roll it on both sides. Like that, it looks almost like an antenna. And you put this together. Then put your hand around it. My hands are really big. As you can see, it looks way cuter with small little kid hands. So there we go. Now, uh, glue works better because, of course, you won't see the tape. I'm just doing this with the tape just to show you quickly here. And then, close it too much. Put this on the end of the stick. I think you need to glue that too. Yep. I'm gonna tape mine. So if I was doing this next time, I'd probably do the leaves first, the yellow second, and the hand last. It's the first time I've actually made this. I've actually gotten it as a present a lot, but I've never made it for my class. So, so you would want to do the leaves first, that second, and the hand last. And then you got your flower for Mom's Day. And with the more hands, the better. So your whole family could do it and make your mom a whole vase or pot full of flowers from Mother's Day that won't die and that she like I said I've had this one for like 10 years I've had this one for like five years they still look perfect and it's a great memory